Jauma. Hello, I'm Dean. In this video, we are going to talk about the network and streaming capabilities on the UE150. Yeah, it's an incredibly important feature on the integrated cameras of the networking side and also about the single cable solution. And we introduced this as Panasonic and I'm really pleased to see actually we're still continuing that, being able to power, control and stream out one cable. And this is a great feature because this keeps a 100 meter cable run over Cat5 or Cat6. Bigger camera means it's going to be a little bit more hungry on power and a POE++ injector like this from GeoVision supports up to 70 watts as well. So as you can see here, it's actually quite an easy installation. Yeah, alternatively, the camera has a 12 volt 14 connection, so you can use any conventional AC adapter available in the market. And you know, a lot of customers are going to be pleased to see we've kept the LAN connections exactly the same, the RS422, maybe you directly want to plug it into the panel exactly the same and we have a brand new interface to support that as well. Yeah, this the web browser is more operator friendly now so there is uh, many more functions now available in the web browser. For example, you can easily control the camera from here, you can manage the presets with a thumbnail for its position and even you can click on the picture and move the camera directly to that point. So it means a really easy way of controlling the camera remotely. So one of the most popular applications for the PTZs currently is using them in live streaming applications and you have to use different encoders and third party accessories. But the UE150 actually supports a range of different protocols now. Yeah, there has been a big request from customers during this time. It has been to implement RTMP protocol inside the camera and the UE150 does. I think that's a big milestone in itself and as well we've had great success with the NDIHX lineup of PTZs and pleased to say the UE150 will actually include an optional NDIHX upgrade as well. Yeah, so this works for HD, both RTMP and NDIHX, but in 4K we can also have a streaming uh, supporting UHD 50p. So in this case you can choose between H.264 or H.265 encoding. Definitely a huge request by the market as well, 4K streaming, uh, networks are getting bigger and we're pleased to see this camera actually start to support that. And going back to the RTMP, I think it's a, it's a big advantage for people that have been requesting, I want to take one live stream and put it onto YouTube or Facebook. And you know, we're pleased to say, actually, yeah, you can do that now. Yeah, and with the NDI check support, you can integrate the camera into any NDI workflow, which is spreading into live event or broadcast applications. I think we've covered a lot about the camera. and we've, we've talked about all the functionality and. You know, we have a lot more to go in the controlling methods as well, the RP150. So we'll go into a little bit more detail there. See you in the next video. See you in the next video.